it is my hope that you are still fine and doing well. Today we are going to look at our fifth and last lesson on this topic of integration. Uh, in the previous lesson, we went through uh, getting the definite area uh, using different methods. I hope you practiced and uh, you also chose a method that is comfortable on your side. Uh, today I want us to look at application of integration in kinematics. In our previous topic of differentiation, we had looked at the application of differentiation in kinematics, the mathematics of motion. Uh, we had come across displacement, which is represented by letter S, velocity, letter V, and acceleration, letter A. All these have one variable, T, that is time. We had said in a, in a previous topic that when you want to get velocity given the uh, displacement, you differentiate. When you want to get acceleration given velocity, you also differentiate. So for this arrow going down, we can write here differentiate. For you to move downwards, you differentiate. Now when you're going up, it is the reverse of differentiation. And as we have seen, the reverse of differentiation is integration. So here, we are going to integrate. When you're moving upwards, when you're given acceleration, you want velocity, you integrate. When you are given velocity, you want to get displacement, you also integrate the equation for velocity. So that is how uh, we do it. Uh, when you're moving upwards, differentiate. I mean, integrate. When you're moving downwards, you differentiate. Let's take one, one or two examples, uh, and then you will be able to do the rest. Given that v is equal to 3t plus 4, find the distance moved by that particle for the first two seconds. So in this equation, we have the equation for velocity. We are here. We want the displacement. We are told to find distance. Uh, moved by the particle during the first two seconds. So we are here, we are at V, we want to go to S. We are moving upwards. And that upward movement means we integrate what we have. And as you can see, the first two seconds, that is from zero all the way to two. The first two seconds, meaning from the zero second all the way to two. So this one is definite integration. We are integrating from zero up to two. And we are integrating equation for velocity. And our unknown is time. So this time we are going to respect to, to, to integrate with respect to t. So integrate that, you will get um, 3 over 2t squared plus 4t. You can add a constant, not a must in this case, from 0 up to 2. So here you substitute x is equal to 2, you also substitute x is equal to 0, and you get the answer. Your answer will be 14 meters. So the distance moved by the particle for the first two seconds will be 14 meters, uh, like that. I want us to do a second example. This time, starting with acceleration. The acceleration of a particle at any time t is given by a is equal to 5 minus 3t. This is example 2. So the acceleration of a particle at any time t is given by 5 minus uh, 3t. 
If the initial velocity of the particle, initial velocity is 20 meters per second, if the initial velocity is 20 meters per second, find an expression for velocity. Find an expression for velocity. So now we are here. We are at A. We want to get B. We are moving upwards. So it means we also integrate. But now we want an expression for velocity. So it is indefinite integration. We have not been given a time from where we are going to integrate up to which point. So here we are going to integrate 5 minus 3t. No limits. So it is indefinite. You get 5t minus 3 over 2t squared. This is v uh, plus a constant c. You are told the initial velocity is 20 meters per second. So when t is 0, v is 20. The word initial implies that t is 0. So when t is 0, v is 20, you substitute that and you get c here to be 20. So you write the equation v is equal to 5t minus 3 over 2t squared plus 20. So now we have an expression for velocity. That is how we work out. I'll, as you continue with that example, I would like you to find the distance. Find the distance moved by the particle during the third second. So here you have been given the limit because it is during the third second. You are at velocity. You want to get displacement. It means you are moving up, so you integrate. What you integrate? This equation for velocity. Now, the question is, from where up to where? During the third second, during the third second, the first second starts from zero to one. So if you are integrating during the first second, it will be from zero to one. This is the first second. The second second starts from one to two, from one to two. This is the second one. The third second starts from two to three. This is the third one. So in simple terms, this question is telling you to integrate this expression for velocity with these limits, two and three. So two is the lower limit, three is the upper limit. So do that, finish that one, and get the distance moved during the third second by this particular particle. That brings us to the end of this topic of integration. I hope we have gotten the concepts. Now it is your work to go and perfect the skills you have learned in this topic uh, and apply them uh, appropriately as required by this course. Thank you very much and God bless you.